What is going on, everyone? Broken Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to this week's episode of BUW. This is episode 131, part 3. So, of course, if you guys missed any of the action in the previous two parts, then do make sure to head on over and give them a watch. As you can see, we are kicking off part three with a singles match from the women's division. And it'll be the currently undefeated Chelsea Wayand going one on one with the former BUW Women's World Champion, Lauren. Who's going to get the win here? Let's find out. So, of course, guys, if you do enjoy this one, then do make sure to leave a like for Mike. Slap any comments down below. And, of course, guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel as we edge closer to getting our goal at full of 1,400 subscribers. Easy for me to say. Making her way down to the ring first, Chelsea Wayand. Now of course Chelsea Wayand, currently undefeated in BUW, going into her fifth match. Last time out, she she defeated Chloe. And this upcoming match. Is definitely going to be one of her toughest tests to date. First time she'll be taking on a former world champion. This woman is ready to fight. Manchester, England. And her opponent making her way down to the ring, Lauren. And you think by ju judging Lauren's entrance, of course she's had it for a long time now. She could very well fit in with the newest tag team in the women's division, the Poison Embers. You'd think that would be a perfect fit for her if that's the route she decided to go on. Well, we know her record with tag team partners in in the past. She even turned on her own uh, sister, Kayla. Well, the tag team titles on three occasions. Here we go. This match is underway. And look at Chelsea getting off to a good start here. Chelsea with some right hands. There's a slap. For good measure and blows a kiss. Lock up. Kick to the midsection. And look at Chelsea go here firing all on all cylinders. Heads to the top rope. Takes flight. Elbow drop. Hook at the leg. Oh and Chelsea very nearly scored an early win over Lauren and she could not believe that was only two. Knee drop on the elbow. She's been to a now. This is where her grip will be put 
Lauren with a counter looking to get something going here. The right hand, the waist lock. Sit down, Matt Slam. Of course, you'd figure that these two ladies will feature in the Women's Ruthless Rumble match this year. Oh, what a super kick there from Chelsea. Another knee drop on the arm. And that kick to the back did nothing. It just annoyed Lauren. Code red from L Lauren hits code red. And there's a double stomp. And that could just be what Lauren needs. Cover. And Lauren only gets a one count. Of course, Lauren, who won the very first Women's Ruthless Rumble match back in 2020, would love to become a double winner of that event. Chelsea, of course, will be looking to enter her first Rumble into the cover. Just a one count. The left hand. Has Lauren by the head. Drops her down. Oh, stomp on the chest. And Chelsea is fired up here. Kick to the back. Another kick to the back. Kick to the midsection from Lauren. Kick to the leg. Chelsea counters. Swings wildly with that slap attempt. Another code red into the cover. Two count for Lauren. Oh, and Lauren showboating gets hit of a super kick. Hook at the leg. And Chelsea remains undefeated. And that's 5 and 0. Oh. And that's the biggest win of her career so far in BUW. She just pinned a former world champion. To be fair, Lauren did look a bit lackluster in this match. He did have some moments in it. Did come close to a pin attempt after the sit-down mat slam. And a code red there. Here is your winner, Shelly Wyatt. And here is your winner of the match, Chelsea Wayand. And she's 5-0 and oh now in BUW and looking good going into the women's ruthless rumble match she'll love her chances I'm sure but it just depends on the draw anyway moving on to our next matchup and it'll be some men's division action for you this one it's going to be Dio Patterson representing the Outsiders 2.0 and he's going to go one on one with the current BUW YouTube champion Nathan Sanders formerly known as Big Bubba Sanders
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Outsiders from Charleston, South Carolina, weighing in at 229 pounds, D. O. Patterson. Making his way down to the ring first, representing the Outsiders 2.0. Dio Patterson. And earlier on tonight, we saw Dio's tag team partner, the current hardcore champion, Mike Gaiman, get a win over Stephen Rainmaker of Heavy Rain. And of course, Dio would like to go 2 0 in a clean sweep over Heavy Rain tonight if he can score a win over the current YouTube champion. Let's not forget Dio is a former world champion here and has the most global championship victories than anyone else with four. This guy is ready for a fight. Wait a minute. Oh my good. Opponent from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 330 pounds. The internet champion. The Dominator, Nathan Sanders. And a new look, folks. And a new entrance making his way down to the ring. Represented Heavy Rain. The current BUW YouTube champion, Nathan Sanders. Easy for me to say. It's used to seeing... I know him as Big Bubba Sanders, but he's now the... Dominator Nathan Sanders. His shaved head, tattoos. It's definitely a new look for this man, and maybe a new side of him, a new aggression after he was kicked out of the WES fairly recently on an episode of VCW. And here we go. This match is underway. And Nathan Sanders looking for a suplex. Dio counter is able to German suplex the big man. It's going to take a little bit of time for me to get used to saying Nathan Sanders on, on these BUW shows. Dio takes flight. Swanton bomb. Dio looking to make short work of the YouTube champion Nathan Sanders who will have a wait a second cover two count only and Dio can't believe it of course Nathan Sanders will be defending his YouTube championship on next week's go home show against the number one contender Jim Boy who won a number one contenders match earlier on tonight knee to the face Nathan falls into the cover Gets a two count. And Nathan as Dio by the arm. Oh my goodness. Stomps on the elbow. Could have broken his arm. And Nathan's, sh Nathan's showing no sign of remorse. And with Heavy Rain back. As a tag team. They're going to be a huge threat to any team. In the tag division. Cover. One count only. And Dio again can't believe it. right hand the chops oh my goodness Dio wish to the roundhouse and Nathan with a belly to belly suplex hooks a leg not even a one count lock up Dio whips Nathan into the corner right hands here from the former world champion and Dio with a boot to the face. Hook of the leg, a shades of the Broski boot. Made famous by Matt Cardona. Marple right hands from Dio follows up with a slap. And what happens if Dio defeats Nathan Sanders? Could he then put himself into title contention for the YouTube title? 
Obviously, it all depends on what happens on next week's show. Dio looks with a splash. No water in the pool. But there was water in the pool for Nathan Sanders with that splash. Nathan Sanders showing a more of an aggressive side since dropping the big bubber name. Military into the spine buster. A stomp just above the waistline into a cover now. Well, one count only. Clubbing left hand there. Oh, Nathan. Broken arrow. Nerve hold there from Nathan Sanders. That's going to do some damage to the nerves. But Dio's able to fight free. Head to the top rope once again. A right hand, but Dio able to pull off the diving cross body. Hook of the leg. One count again, and not for the first time. Dio cannot believe it. Kick to the gut, chops. Look for a drop kick to the knee. Has Big Bubba by the head. Elbow from Nathan Sanders. I think I made a mistake in saying Big Bubba. It's a Michael Clock moment and Nathan's ready to pounce. And speaking of which, there it is, the Paducah pounce. Hook of the leg. Will this do it for Nathan Sanders? It will, you know. And the new, the new change, the new name, the new shaped head look seems to have paid off already. And what a win that is for Nathan Sanders. And going into next week's title defense against Jim Boy. And I think that was a direct shot at Jim Boy, the number one contender to the title. What a matchup, and Nathan Sanders pulls it back one for one in for heavy rain. Dio with a diving cross body there. And there was the finish there, the Paducah pounce from the dominator Nathan Sanders. Like I say, it's still going to take a little bit of time to get used to saying Nathan Sanders. <laughs> but we'll get there. So here is your winner of the match. Representing Heavy Rain. The BUW YouTube Champion. The Dominator. Nathan Sanders. What a match that was. Moving on to our next matchup, we've got another singles match coming your way from the men's division, and it'll be a final match before we take our last break of the show. And I was mentioning about the OG boys just moments ago. We were talking about Jim Boy. Now we can turn our attention to Jim Boy's tag team partner, OG Nick. As he's got a big task in front of him as he's about to square off against Mr. Grand Slam, Ian Berg, representing the Broken Psychos. Of course, earlier on tonight we saw a fellow Broken Psycho Max in that triple threat match to get that uh, shot at Nathan Saunders' YouTube title. And unfortunately for Max Heath... He was the one that was pinned by Jim Boy in that match. So, in a way, the OG boys have won up on the Broken Psychos going into this match. Ian Berg, I'm sure, be looking to level things here for the Psychos. Just like we saw moments ago with Nathan Sanders leveling things up for Heavy Rain.
the contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from London, England, weighing in at 206 pounds. Oh, gee, Nick. Making his way down to the ring first, representing the OG boys. OG Nick. What a matchup this should be. And what would a win do for OG Nick's career if he can somehow uh, defeat Ian Bo? You mentioned before OG Nick's tag partner Jim Boy will be challenging Nathan Sanders on next week's Go Home Show for the YouTube Championship. We're focusing our attention on OG Nick and this man right here. And making his way down to the ring, representing the Broken Psychos, Mr. Grand Slam, Ian Berg. And Ian Berg, of course, was the first man to declare himself for the Men's Ruthless Rumble match this year. Looking to win one of the few matches he's never won before. Ian Berg, of course, so chill as always. And here we go. This match is underway. And OG Nick doing the right thing, trying to come out the gates early and surprise Ian Berg. But it just irritated Ian Berg. I do believe, I think this is actually a first time meeting between these two men. Ian Berg now driving the knees in. Drops. Nick to the ground in the corner stopping a mud hole and now face washing the former YouTube champion OG Nick oh my goodness frog splash off the middle rope now that is something Ian Berg with the left hands that's a slap for good measure look at the leg Two count only, and Ian Berg can't believe it. Off the ropes. Looking for a springboard 450. Completely missed his target. And Nick trying to capitalize. Great defensive work there from Ian Berg. Not letting Nick break through that barrier. Clubbing blow to the back of the head of Ian Berg. Like I said, OG Nick is no slouch. Cover. But it's a rope break. And left hands there from OG Nick. Hook of the leg. One count only. And Nick can't believe it. OG Nick. Fairly successful in BUW as we mentioned a former YouTube champion a former world tag team champion I was looking to fly but he had second force on that one Ian Berg now looking to make him pay and a nice Northern Knight suplex and now Ian Berg picking apart 
OG Nick limb from limb. Taking a page out of Jesse's playbook. Nick with the counter now. Some offense, some chops, some rights. Suplex. OG Nick heads to the top rope. Diving knee drop. A stomp on the chest. Hook of the leg. And a two count for Nick. And he again cannot believe it. Right hand. Staggers Ian Bird momentarily. Over the top rope. And they're looking to bring Ian Bird back inside. And there's a clubbing blow. Neobo, to be fair, hasn't really gotten too much going his way. Knee to the face. I don't. I think Neobo might be busted up, and I'm not entirely certain. From this angle, he is. And OG Nick with a diving elbow drop. Hooks the leg. And a two count again, and a, and not for again for the first. Not for the first time, Nick cannot believe it. Uh, Nick, Nick gets caught there with a couple of left hands from Ianberg. Ianberg showing off a little bit. And he has every right to. He is a Grand Slam champion. Inverted suplex. Dropping the knee onto the head. Another knee to the face. Nick now feeling it. He's up for this match, I'll tell you. Spine buster. Hook at the leg. Want to win this will be? No! And OG Nick's questioning the referee's count there. Ian Burr kicks out at two. Oh, no. Looking for the pedigree. Ian Burr knew what was coming. There's a spear. The sign of life in Ianberg. Can he come back from this? He could well have done. A pin. A one count. And Ianberg can't believe it. And Ianberg looking for it. Will we see it? Jackhammer. Hook of the leg. And out of nowhere, Ian Berg scores a victory. What a comeback that was from Ian Berg. After a major onslaught from Moji Nick in this match. So nice, we get to see it twice. And there was a near fall attempt. Ian Burke hit the spear, and that was the beginning of the end for OG Nick. After that jackhammer. So here is your winner of the match, representing the Broken Psychos, Ian Burke. And will Ian Burke be the last man standing in a couple of weeks in, at the Ruthless Rumble? Where he'll be one of 29 superstars looking to fight for a spot at Wrestleverse anyway folks that is going to do it for part 3 for this week's show if you have enjoyed it guys then do make sure to leave a like for Mike slap any comments down below and of course guys please do consider subscribing to the channel would really mean so much to me if you could and when you do guys do not forget to hit that notification bell and that way you'll be kept up to date with all things gaming and all things BUW. But the action isn't done just yet, folks. We've still got two more huge matches still to come. So until then, guys, do take care. And I will see you all after this final break.